All right guys, so I've now successfully printed two different things on the Form 4 SLA printer with great success. But there's only one problem. I'm in my office. So one great thing about Form Labs printers and their engineers is that they specifically designed their materials to contain no ACMOs. ACMOs are a highly reactive material that are low cost and are sometimes found in other liquid resins in order to keep the cost down. The only problem is that these ACMOs are not good, they're reactive to your skin, and they also produce vapors that are not good to breathe in. There's a couple articles online, which I'll link in the description, that talk more about this. So we're really lucky that we're going to be using all Form Labs resins on their printer, such that we don't produce any of those harmful vapors. But the one issue is, even though these materials, these resins, are safe, they also produce a smell. And while that smell is not harmful to your body, it still is noticeable and something that I really don't like when I'm trying to work in the same space as the printer. So how are we gonna solve this problem? Well, luckily, the form engineers thought ahead. And what they did is they put a port on the back of the printer for future use in order to vent the Form Labs printer. In this case, as you can see here, I've taken that cap off that came with the printer and replaced it with an adapter that I found on Reddit. The adapter will allow me to put on a 1.5 inch hose, in this case, a wet dry vac hose, and I'm gonna build a custom ventilation system that will constantly be sucking the air out of the printer and blowing it out the window. This will allow me to print with the Form 4 printer while being in the same space, in this case, a small office. So let's jump into Onshape and let's design something to solve this problem. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna design two different sides of a part that's gonna contain a small 50 millimeter fan. That 50 millimeter computer fan will be powered by a USB on the back of the Form Labs printer, such that whenever it's on, it's venting. We're then gonna take that 50 millimeter fan and put it as a sandwich between the two sides. And we're gonna have a little ventilation system that we can hook a hose up to each side. And here we have it. We have the two different sides sandwiching that small 50 millimeter fan, the computer fan. And we have a small hole in the bottom for the wire to go out and plug into the USB. We're gonna mount this on the back of my workbench and we're gonna take the hose coming from the Form Labs printer go to one end, and then we're gonna have another hose go to the other end to vent outside. All right, we can now see that we are printing something on the printer. We're using the Tough 2000 resin, and we have our ventilation system now hooked up to both the back of the printer on the USB, which is powering the fan, and that's coming down to one of those adapters for an AC unit and venting out the back. I've been printing now for about 30 minutes and I basically smell nothing anymore. There's still a tiny little bit of smell if I really sniff and look for it, but for the most part, uh, I've eliminated the smell on the printer uh, by adding this very simple ventilation system. All right, so we got our ventilation system done and working, but I've been testing it for a little bit and there's one thing that I would like to improve. I'd like to increase the size of the fan to have some more throughput for the air ventilating out the window. I still smell a little bit too much and I think by increasing the fan to an 80 millimeter fan versus a 50 millimeter fan, we're gonna achieve our goal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna, now that I have my ventilation system, use the Form 4 printer itself to print the new ventilation system. I've increased the size of this holster to accommodate an 80 millimeter fan and I'm gonna print it in clear resin so that when it's actually operating, we can see through and actually look at the fan spinning. So let's go ahead and we'll get this printed. All right, so we've got that all printed and put together. We have the new 80 millimeter fan mounted in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a test print now to see if this improved uh, the efficiency of the ventilation system and made it so that that smell is a little less noticeable. In addition, I wanna point out that this 80 millimeter fan is a little bit more power than the USB on the Form 4 printer can handle. So I have a dedicated plug for the USB fan here such that it can draw power directly from the outlet. All right, so I just finished a print. We ran it for about 30 minutes, and there is definitely a significant decrease in the smell of the resin. So I think this updated 80 millimeter fan is doing a better job than the 50 millimeter fan, 
and I think overall that this ventilation system is working as expected and doing what I intended it to do. So just to reiterate one more time, we have an adapter that I found on Reddit, which I'll link in the description, it goes to a hose. In this case, I used the clear resin to accommodate an 80 millimeter fan that is USB powered, and then I vent it out the side of the window. All right, guys, and that concludes today's video on how to build a ventilation system for the Form 4 SLA printer from Form Labs. If you like this content, please subscribe to the channel and I'll be bringing you more content from the Form 4 printer. And with that, have a good rest of your day.